tabernacles. And we went to Ravava, one of the yeshuvim or settlements that the world wants to take away out of the hands of Israel. While America holds on to all the territories that they took from the Indians and never gave them a state. That America vast is telling Israel that as small as the state of New Jersey, that they don't come back to a land that was not theirs, but came back to a land that God promised them as an everlasting possession. And it's a shame that most of the church, I'm not even speaking about the World Council churches or the Vatican, but most, it seems, of the born again believers who see, take up your holy throne. I know exactly where that throne is. Where he will extend his reign over the whole earth. It's not in Leicester. That's nearly Islam now. They take up their throne in Leicester to get to Logan. But my Lord is waiting on a welcome. We sang it. We sang it. Not just take up your holy throne, but he said it to his people and gave the key for his return to his people. You will see me no more. And I feel him standing beside me. You will see me no more. Till the day comes. That you. My Jewish people. Will welcome me. And you know. When we. With dancers and with trumpeters. You were trumpeting. Let's be completely honest. Among most of the church. You will be queers here. And say, oh, what's this chauffeur blowing? What's this dancing? But Israel is wide open for it. We came to Ravava, this settlement that the world wants to snatch out of the hands of the Jews when they came to their own land. And they're all alone. Alone against the pressures of the whole world. And we came in with chauffeurs. And I think it was the independent BB, independent television in England that said something like in the heading, Israelis stand up for their land while the Christians sing to them in encouragement. Or words to that effect. Who were there of the church? And now I'll come to it. You believe in God? I would like to shout it to every Anglican Baptist and Assembly of God minister, and I hope they're going to hear this message. They said, and ask the Lord, because I don't want to be more critical than the Holy Spirit is, so please check with God what I'm going to say now. They said, Germans under a patriotistic spirit. Deutschland, Deutschland über alles. Said Heil Hitler. And we sang Heil Jesus in Auschwitz. And you know what I was thinking? It's not enough. Because the very assembly of God and other pastors would all agree with that. They have taken on Jesus out of the hands of his people. They also say Jesus is my savior, not Hitler. So it doesn't come close enough. What we should see at Auschwitz is salvation is of the Jews. Hallelujah. You try to trouble them. Hallelujah. We will not just, I remember I was invited to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. At the Washington for Jesus. Sounds so spiritual. But it was underlaying the patriotism of the American Christians that see with all the debacles that are happening that their land is on the way down. They have half a Muslim in the White House. In spite of all the nights of prayer. And some years ago they came together 
Washington for Jesus. And I asked the executive director of the Washington, what will you do during the Washington for Jesus for Israel? Because our prayer for London will only work if we pray first for Jerusalem. And that's the same as the way. And there was no place. They had a rostrum of hundred speakers. Because everyone had to be tickled and owned. Even at such a spiritual event as Washington for Jesus. And because of my friendly contact with the executive director, they, they made a room for five minutes for Israel. And they allowed me to pray. Five minutes. I took an oriental five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> when I came, and I want to burn this in your heart, the ex executive director said, the young woman, it was an eye opener. When they heard that Israel was to be represented officially at the Washington for Jesus, so it's not enough, we are for Jesus. Because Jesus is for his people. The time to favor Zion has come. And he said to me, Your moment was an eye opener. When some of the key leaders heard that Israel had been given a platform at the Washington for Jesus, they threatened as yet to leave the Washington for Jesus. These people feel closer, is where his words, to Rome than to Jerusalem. And as the church will become a world church in Rome, not in Jerusalem, I prophesy that the church that will unite over Rome, and it's quickly going to be that way. Methodists and Lutherans and Orthodox will all go to Rome, and even charismatic Christians will be welcome. As the church unites over Rome, it will become the heart of the world government of Israel. But the church that unites over Jerusalem, together with Israel, will become the bride of Christ. So, I, so I'm a fighter. Your songs were so good. I'm a fighter. She said it where is this girl? Acts of love God wants. Not theology, not eschatology. Israel is in need of something more than Christians reading books on prophecy. Israel on the way to the rapture. That's why it's going to be an expensive dance this time. Because you all are coming to the Feast of Tabernacles. So you have to save up now so you'll have an expensive weekend here. Because I tell you, Israel is wide open. And if the washing for Jesus would have been the Washington for Israel. You know what it would have done? It would have brought all the demons out of hiding. It's too spiritual. I'm for Jesus. But Jesus is going to be the king of Israel. And I'll give you a verse that I know is from God. Anyway, it's from God if it's in the Bible. If the rejection of Israel has been turned by God, that was my first sentence to you, he came to his own, the Jews, and his own then received him not. But to all those that were Gentiles, the door was opened. That's what Paul says in Romans 11. If their rejection of their Lord 
made it possible for you Gentiles to be reconciled to the God of Israel even as sons and daughters of him what shall the fullness of Israel be but life from the dead I know the Bible I know what's going to happen and if I know it the devil knows it too and probably the devil knows it better than 80% of born again Christians because he's dead afraid of Israel because he knows, he can reckon 120 Jews filled with the Holy Spirit on the day of Pentecost which was only a foreshadowing of what is soon going to come over all of Israel because my Bible says the bones were put together in the valley of death they came out of the Holocaust let me say it clearly because I hear God as it were speak the Holocaust was the day of Jacob's trouble they're not coming back for a day of Jacob's trouble. They come out of the valley of the Jacob. There were bones, literally bones, skeletons. And the prophet said, this nation is finished. You are sweet St. Bergen Bells, Mauthausen. I would like to lift a banner and say, and yet the salvation is of the Jews. If their rejection has been our salvation, how much more the fullness of Israel when the Holy Spirit will blow upon this nation. They gave us the Old Testament, the New Testament, the apostles, the patriarchs, the prophets. And that person that you sing and worship so well was their gift or God's gift through them to us. How come? How come? What Bible do Christians in Wales and Britain read and other countries? Let me give you one verse. When I saw it, it sprang up like this. God speaking. Your Heavenly Father that loved you enough to give his son for you. He said, When I bring you from the four corners of the earth back to your land, now listen to this in Jeremiah, I will plant your body spirit with my whole heart, with my whole soul, into the land that I gave to you as an everlasting possession. I said, God, the creator of heaven and earth, who has thousands of planets and stars, sun and moon, you with your whole heart and your whole soul is so happy after 2,000 years of scattering and humiliation and death to favor science come. It's like he's waited when he heard them sing and pray in the Auschwitz. Where are you, God? And God releases all his heart, all his soul, and the church <coughs> sleeps with all and he calls him their God and Father. a fury in God's heart. And that's the verse that the Lord gave me for you this morning. This is just an introduction. The Bible says, read it. The whole chapter is worth reading. In Isaiah 60. The nation that shall not serve you, Israel, shall be destroy and now it comes I like your playing <coughs> no that's fine but I just the nation that shall not serve you shall perish yes 
shall be utterly destroyed. In Jeremiah 